I feel like people un- will, will look at anything and then can try to recreate it. And I think it works like you can make anyone can kind of make a decent pizza. Right. For the most part. Anybody, you know, mm. can build like an OK birdhouse or something. But there's something about like video and audio specifically mm-hmm. where if somebody tries to create it, it's just like there's like a mark and they know the mark because they listen to great music and they watch great movies. But for some odd reason, people put something on. They're like, we just worked on a short film. I worked on a year and a half on it. And it's the best thing. But then you watch it and you're like. It's not good, Dude. but they don't know that it's not good. Like, where is the disconnect <laughs> I went with like audio some of those, and video? Some of those film festivals, man. Dude, me too. Oh my gosh, man! It I've is seen rough. some trash films. But ego short films. and like pride run high. Everyone's yeah. like, you know, shaking hands after their movie. Oh yeah, you know, screens or whatever. And you're like, dude. I think we went to so we went to one of those where it was like uh, uh, one of the film festivals, like the local one yeah, that they okay. do at the theater super and rigged by the yeah, way yeah super rigged yeah. but outside of that no they, it was like they play like five in a row or uh-huh. something and it's like they play one and then you can ask like the director questions or whatever yeah. and it's like i maybe liked one of them kind of it's i'm rough. interested in how it's rigged um dude it's like the people who run the film festival don't actually care about films Oh, it's just like, you can tell because the quality of the films that they get on the film festival, generally speaking, are pretty yeah, bad, pretty bad. But um, then they'll occasionally get so with film festivals. I mean, we could start a film festival. We should. But uh, no, no, no so you, to, to film festival <laughs> coming people soon, pay, coming soon. Hey, legit, send in your iPhone festival. videos. Um, hey, uh, we, but people send in films, yeah. but you have to pay money to submit a film. Yeah. yeah. So like you end up like festival. Right. You end up people submit like, you know, you pay like a hundred bucks to submit a film. You end up getting a ton of submissions. You end up charging. You charge tickets as well. You sell merch or whatever. So it's a pretty lucrative thing if like a film festival has been running for a long time. Especially if they have financial backers that they can right, like yeah. right. make slap it look, on the poster well, and, stuff. and make it look like a lot bigger than it actually is. Yeah, because I mean the local one they get like a uh, bank and a bunch. They of get a things. bank and a yeah, the local bank or not even a local bank like national chain. I think Wells Fargo yeah. uh, or maybe TD so. like sponsors them. But it's like a lot of those companies have so much marketing money to throw around. They TD literally Jakes sponsors them. <laughs> yeah, TD Jakes is like yeah, I'll, I'll sponsor them. <laughs> they they have so much money in their marketing budget they can just like blow it on stuff yeah, yeah, like they're yeah. looking for tom things. steyer <laughs> tom, tom steyer sponsors the film he's still tom Sp- I, steyer po- sponsored this podcast I by the way he still has a billboard somewhere yeah i saw it the other day i'm, I'm sure. like why uh, 